A few weeks ago, I desperately wanted this Daisy tea from Urban Outfitters, but I just couldn't stand how the tea was so freaking expensive. Yeah, freaking 30 bucks. So I decided to make one myself for a lot cheaper. So for the first style, inspired by Wild Fox Cross Tea, I'll show you the cheapest way to make a graphic tea. And you can most likely find all the supplies at home. You will need a white plain tea, black paint, a sharp blade, you should use an exacto knife but I didn't have one laying around, an image that you want to transfer, pens and pencils to draw your image, a sharpie, a plastic folder or any type of thin plastic, a sponge, and also some tape. First take your drawn image and stick it underneath your plastic. For me, I'm going to insert the plastic stick to secure my image. Then take your sharpie and outline your image. After that, stick a piece of cardboard underneath your plastic and cut out your image. You might need to use scissors to cut some exact spots. Okay, if you have enough patience, you can totally do something complicated like this image inspired by Brandy Melville. But since I don't and I won't, I just drew a cross, simple and fast. And then I cut it out. Now you should have your stencil and all you need to do is get your t-shirt ready. And yes, you can buy self adhesive spray to stick your stencil to your t-shirt, but since I wanted to spend the least amount, I used a trustworthy tape. Honestly, if you're trying to create any kind of square or rectangle shapes, you can seriously just create that stencil by using tape and not go through all that hassle to make that stencil. And after you're done, stick a piece of cardboard underneath your shirt and start painting your image. I seriously think this is the best part of this DIY. And yes, I totally do not know what was going on, but Pinky was just flying up in the air. Be sure to paint a few coats to make your shirt opaque. Wait until the paint is dry and peel your stencil off. And you should have a nice crisp edge. And if you don't, then take a small paintbrush. Or if you don't have one like me, then use a toothpick to fix the edges. And you can leave your shirt like this if you want, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I turned it into a muscle tank. All I did was I marked the side of the shirt and then cut the sleeves off. And I also cut the neckline of the tank. And that's it. The grand total of making this tank was only about four bucks. Really, four bucks. Too cheap to be true. And now for the next one, inspired by Urban Outfitters, you'll need a plain black shirt, iron on transfer, scissors, iron, and, and an ironing board. First, you'll need to choose your image. Since I'm doing the one inspired by Urban Outfitters, I'm going to use a nice looking daisy. And no, not the one from Great Gatsby. I chose this one and printed 16 of these on the corresponding side of the transfer paper. Then cut each daisy out. And if you're using a black shirt, be sure to cut as closely as possible to the image, like this. Then get your t-shirt ready. For my directions, it says to iron on your t-shirt before. Don't ask me why. I'm just being a good girl and listening to directions. Then peel off the back of the transfer paper gently. And yes, it was brutal peeling 16 of these babies. Now place the daisy on your shirt and place the parchment paper over the image and iron on. My direction says to iron at least 20 seconds so I did that. And being a lazy me, I just left the iron on like this, but don't do that. Then finish off your tea with the 15 other flowers. You should definitely check out the original tea spacing to get a good idea. Honestly, besides the brutal part of peeling the back of the transfer paper, this DIY only took about 15 minutes. And it was a lot of fun. Finally, to make the t-shirt crop, I just snip the bottom of the shirt and I also cut the neckline. And I'm so sorry about my Medusa looking hair blocking the way. The grand total of the shirt is about $8. But hey, it's better than paying $30 bucks for a similar looking crop shirt. That's it for these two simple and affordable DIY ideas. I hope you like both ways of making this. 
and be sure to hashtag very barely on instagram to show me your recreations and i will make sure to give it a like and thank you so much for watching and until next time bye guys